was just thinking of my 30th. Ah, yes. I remember it well. <laughs> Ten years ago today, we were strolling down the Champs-Élysées. Mm. And that bracelet you bought me. <laughs> I still have dreams about that bracelet. I still have nightmares about the day we sold it. To that big, fat American woman. <laughs> I paid the mortgage somehow. At least we had a mortgage in those days. Yes, hey, Mum? Thanks. Anything in the post I should know about? Yeah, but only two. And I'll probably bring us into work. I'm not talking about birthday cards. Oh, no. No, there's no sign. Yeah, I'll probably come second post. Well, you're being very cool about it. Well, one of us has to be. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sam, and he's lovely. Well, you can't go right round the other side of the world and not bring your mate a souvenir back, can you? <laughs> Henry's upset because I didn't bring him a surfboard back. <laughs> Chris, it's too early for cake. Oh, it's never too early for cake. Let's eat it quick before Jackie gets here. Sorry, Karen, if I'd have known it with your birthday, I'd have brought you something back and all. Uh, it's all right, Simon. I don't want anything, really. Are you having a party at all? No, I don't want to make a big deal out of it. You're only 40 once. I mean, we could go down the pub or something, couldn't we? Look, Karen doesn't like being the centre of attention. Oh, uh, I'd best be on my way. First day back at work and all. See you later. See you later, mate. Bye, Simon. Bye, Simon. Might look like an ordinary cuddly kangaroo, but it's an ancient Aboriginal custom that's a true symbol of love and devotion. Well, thank you very much, Chris. That's enough. Do you make your wish, then? Yes. Dinner with Russell Crowe and the end to world hunger. I think you're only allowed the one. Russell is, then. <laughs>